Are railways necessary? Last year, over 15 million people travelled using Transpain and Express, and more than 60 million travelled with Northern. Currently, there are two main routes through the Pennines to Lancashire and Greater Manchester from Yorkshire, the Transpennine Main Line and the Calder Valley Route. Thousands depend on the services these arterial railways provide. Without this, even more travellers would be forced to use the overcrowded and busy M62 motorway for their commute, leisure and whatever else. So given a choice, should another arterial railroad be reinstated? Hi, I'm Ewan from Thoroughfare and today we're discussing the Skipton to Cone Railway. Following in the footsteps of the Leeds Liverpool Canal, the Airedale Line, electric, clean and green, provides the residents of the valley with a regular, reliable route to commute to the central hubs of Yorkshire with ease. From Skipton, it takes just 43 minutes before arriving into the heart of Leeds city centre. The line, built in the 19th century by the Leeds Bradford Railway Company, continues to serve its purpose. But it wasn't the only line they made. From Skipton, the alignment continued to cone, meeting with the East Lancashire Railway, from which trains could continue onto their network. The railway linked the industrialist East Lancashire with the worsted manufacturers in Yorkshire, providing a strategic and most hastier way of transporting anything needed across the breadth of the north. Though, in 1970, the alignment was removed and replaced on the condition that motor buses could provide the same service as the railway to the local residents along its route. Though closed, a group in the alleys of Westminster continued to lobby for its reinstatement. Selrap, or the uh, Skipton East Lancashire Rail Action Partnership, founded in 2001, argues that the government should reopen the line to add another strategic link across the Pennines. This link would support the local economy and add other beneficial services for those living across the north. Though, away from the local nostalgia for a bygone railway, the group, including members of parliament and local businesses, continues to be outspoken on the matter, providing and even funding a report by industry professionals on the proposed ERB station, which concluded that there would be an estimated two-way demand of 106,390. The group also highlighted the possibility of using the new link to run more freight trains from the port of Liverpool towards Yorkshire, with significant power station tracks also supporting the reinstatement of the alignment. In addition, the group says that one freight train will be able to run hourly, reducing HGV traffic and congestion on the M62 whilst being more environmentally friendly due to the energy efficiency of trains. Nevertheless, even with its supporters, funding and publications, the group still needs to garner the government support it desperately needs for the reconstruction of the route. But still, to this day, its efforts have failed to cause government interest in the scheme. However, even after two decades of campaigning, Selrap and their backers are still campaigning, and undoubtedly will persist for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching Fur Affair, all the sources are in the description below, and a link to our Discord server if you're interested. That's all for today, and I wish you all the best. Goodbye.